Gang, let me close with this. The reason we're doing what I'm doing this morning is because the number one factor that makes individuals here at Watermark uh, take off is that they live in accountable subjection to one another, just as God's word says, as they abide with Jesus Christ. They abide with him. They practice the one another's of scripture. And they're about the master's business. The number one determinative word as to whether or not a group does that effectively is the word commitment. And let me tell you what's happened in our country. Do you know for the very first time in the history of the United States, more children are being born to non-committed mothers under 30 than are being born in intact families. Let me say that again. More children under the age, with mothers under the age of 30 are being born to mothers who are unwed than children are being born to mothers who are wed. Can I tell you what's happened to the church in America and why it's so weak and sick? It's because we are the church of cohabitation and not commitment. Can I tell you something about cohabitation? And this is just free for those of you that are here who may not know Jesus. And I'm gonna tell you why God tells you everything. The reason that God offers any advice to you is because he loves you and he wants it to go well with you. Depending on what statistics you look at, 60 to 80% of people today are living together before they get married. Now, when you cohabitate, what you need to know is you're not testing the waters. What you are doing is you are laying a foundation. It is a fact that people who cohabitate have more affairs once they're married. It is a fact that people who cohabitate don't get married more than people who just pursue each other outside of a relationship. In other words, they never commit. It's a fact that once they commit, not only do they have more affairs, they have a 50% higher rate of divorce. It is a fact. People that cohabitate have more physical abuse in their marriage. It is a fact that people who cohabitate suffer from sexually abusive relationships more than in marriage. It is a fact that children of cohabitating couples are more prone to physical and sexual abuse. It is a fact that if you get married without living together, you have a higher satisfaction in your marriage. It is a fact. If you commit to each other without living together, you have more sex once you're married. It is a fact that if you commit to each other, before you dive in together, your economic future is brighter. In other words, just doing what seems right to man as we just kind of float along with each other, cohabitating, Everything that you want to go up, satisfaction, sex, success, goes down. And everything you want to go down, poverty, abuse, isolation, goes up. That's the way that seems right to the world, but it's not right to God because he loves you. And again, can I tell you something? Some of you guys are cohabitating with your faith. And you wonder why everything you want to go up goes down. And everything you want to go down is going up. Jesus says, come on, get all in, commit to me.